Hey you guys, Gameboy3800 here. Once again, back playing some more Forge Horizon 4 with the B-Class Rally Series for Muscle Cars. Today we got the Hemikuda. This is the regular one. There is a Barrett Jackson edition that we will also be doing, I do believe. So this will be a first to see like which one is faster than the other. This one starts out in uh, mid-C-Class. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where this slots into the power department. Uh, this does get the supercharger upgrade as standard. Fairly heavy car, already over 4,000 pounds. And we've seen that weight can be good if you get the power to back it up. I do believe the old 442 currently leading uh, is the heaviest car that's gone up so far. If we need the extra PI point, we will take that off. And, hmm. Okay, we just barely have enough PI to put on the vintage race tires. The vintage race tires is what the top two cars currently run. Brakes, we found out that they're not really important. We need suspension. We need toy bars. Need chassis reinforcement as much as the game will let us put on. Look at that, right at the top of B class with the supercharger. I love that. And we might be able to squeeze on more power with like oil and stuff. Maybe not though. Or right at the top. Bone stock motor except for except for supercharger. I love it. We can't put on uh, gearbox to get the shift time and weight down just a little bit. So we'll take a look at how we compare with the uh, olds that we just ran last episode. Which is some pretty tall gear ratios right there. We found that 140 miles per hour is pretty good. We're getting very high in the final drive ratios, though. There we go. That'll be ten. pretty good. Five tens. Driving this car on the highway <laughs> would get you negative fuel mileage. Because of how high it would rev. Just driving normally. Uh, breaking distance says failed. Not often a good thing. But for my series, it actually is a good thing because breaking distance failed usually means it actually gets a good lap time somehow. If you look back on my older videos for this game, you'll see that something saying failed usually means it'll be good. Don't know why. Make sure this car likes default bias. And away we go. I'm going to compare up against the olds. So 42, 556. Similar torque. But it does weigh more, actually. It's got less torque, but weighs more. Normally that means better handling, but I really do not know with this series. Of course, it is the Hemi, an insane motor in real life. This engine can rev over 7,000. This could be really good. If this engine had a Pro Charger, it'd be really good. Because Pro Chargers love uh, torque, uh, high revs, I mean. I didn't get that breaking right at all. I guess I should remember remember that for the actual event. The breaking should be done probably with coasting before the breaking zone. Yep, 
This is probably the only good sounding muscle car motor in the game. Because you know how Forza Horizon 4 sounds are. Old 442. We're getting up there in the leaderboard actually without even trying. Let's go. 426 Hemi, ready to go. 7 liter V8. They can rev pretty high. There's still more torque than horsepower, but less so than the old, and it is a little bit heavier, so I really do not know how this car is going to handle this track. Let's begin. Now let's see how bad these brakes really are. Pretty short gear ratios, I'll need to keep that in mind. Braking distance seemed okay there. Not too much front end grip. That was an odd slide. That seemed to be able to lock up the tires a little bit easier. Which normally isn't a good thing, but for here, it might actually help us slide through corners. Once again, fifth gear proving to be invaluable up the hill here. We are right there with the olds. Ah, what? Come on. These cars are very evenly matched, I do believe. With a good run, I could probably match it. What? You must be joking me. That's not fair. I swear I went through it. It's a dirty lap, so let's experiment. How does a wider turn end of that work? Uh, it didn't. We hit too many obstacles and went way slower and out of control. So the line I have been taking seems to be the best line. Brakes were not too good through that first corner, but it didn't make us slide out or, any or anything like that. I had to take a more slotty entrance into there to get a good line to the second half of that chicane. I'm not sure it worked out. Let's not miss that checkpoint this time. Should have been on the brakes there a little bit more, I think. Yeah, the Hemi is pretty good. I think the old just has a bit more composure. I think overall corner grip is pretty good in the Hemi. But we need to be able to utilize that better, I think. Oh, not again. <laughs> I don't know what it is, what it is with... I um, mean, like, coming up this crest, sometimes I just lose it. And I still am. This lap is dirty, so I won't I won't count it if we win. I don't think we will anyways. Yeah, I'm just not in the right mindset for this corner, so I'm going to have to go the long way around. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do last lap. See how it kind of straight shot at me through there? I think that can work if we get enough speed carried through and not just slide out too wide. But the olds, I think we're going to have our first non-win here. Where the olds is just way more composed. 
and able to put down this power. I don't know what it is about it, but it does seem to have this track nailed down. Although 57-0, not a bad time. It's not able to stay composed enough. Oh, I am dumb. There's another lap. I am, I am not in it today. I am sorry. Yeah, I, f I forgot there's another lap. I am, I am just not in it today. I don't know why. This isn't going to be a better lap anyways. Lap is dirty. Somehow it wasn't 30 at the beginning of the lap. And this car is like... Very picky with checkpoints. I've had worse checkpoint... Uh, distances in it given to me before. I think this car is just cursed. Even if it's amazing, it'll never be good because the game just curses it every lap. I haven't had one good lap. I only give myself five though, so... I'm just going to call it there. If you guys enjoyed the Hemi Kuda, you can leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. I'm going to hope that the Barrett Jackson fixes that control issue because it's a good car. It just doesn't have the composure, and I don't know why. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody.